found you in my bed How'd you wind up there? You are a mystery Little black curly hair Little black curly hair To wind up to be or end up in a particular place or situation, not because you choose to, but because of other things that have happened. How'd you wind up there? Mystery. Something that is difficult to understand or explain. You are a mystery. Curly. Forming curves or circles, spiral shaped. Little black curly hair. I can't have three failed marriages. I can't, okay? I, I, I am not gonna be that guy. So will we just stay married forever? How, how is this going to affect you, really? Marriage. Legally accepted relationship between two people in which they live as husband and wife. To marry. Join in marriage according to law. I can't have three failed marriages. So will we just stay married forever? To affect, produce an effect, change or influence. How is this going to affect you? I mean, you fill some form out once in a while. Instead of checking the box that says miss, you check the box that says missus. It's right next to it. <laughs> once in a while. If something happens once in a while, it happens sometimes, but not very often, from time to time. I mean, you fill some form out once in a while. Next to, very near to something with no other thing in between. Coming next in order or degree. It's right next to it. Look, just please take a moment here and think about what you're asking of me, okay? I am asking you to do me a favor. <laughs> favor, something that you do for someone in order to help them, often after being asked to. I am asking you to do me a favor. You are asking me to be your wife. And as my wife, I think you should grant me this favor. <laughs> to grant. Allow someone to have or do what they want. Agree to give, usually in an official way. I think you should grant me this favor. What's up? Well, um, Chandler and I are moving in together. Oh, my God. Oh, my little sister and my best friend. Shack it up. <laughs> to shack up. Informal, sleep or live together as unmarried sexual partners. My little sister and my best friend, shacking up. No, when we move in together, can I get a gumball machine? Of course. Joey wouldn't let you have one? No, when it comes to sweets, he's surprisingly strict. <laughs> gumball machine. Machine that gives gumballs when someone inserts coins. Gumballs. Balls of chewing gum in a candied shell. Strict. Used to refer to someone who follows the rules and principles of a way of living, who strongly limits someone's freedom to behave as they wish. He's surprisingly strict. Have you figured out a way to tell him you're moving out? No, no, I keep trying, you know, and I can get out, Joey, I have to, but then I lose my nerve and I always finish with, go to the bathroom. <laughs> he may think I'm sick. You know, I really have to tell Rachel, but I... We just gotta get it over with. Get it over with. Finally do something, or allow something to happen, because you want it to be finished, or you want to start something else. Another example. I didn't even go to how huge this is going to be for the father. You're thinking about this way too much. Just tell him and get it over with. It's like, it's like ripping off this band-aid. Quick and painless, watch. Oh, mother up! You know what, the next time we see them, we're just going to tell them, okay? That's it. Oh, is that how this is going to work now? You're just going to order me around all the time? Much. All right. <laughs> to order somebody around, to keep telling someone what to do, as if you have authority over them, often means in an unpleasant way. You're just gonna order me around all the time? You want you want to hear something weird? Always. <laughs> I didn't get the annulment. What? We're still married. <laughs> Don't tell Rachel. See you later. <laughs> I was thinking that maybe we should start dividing up our stuff. Okay. You know, no, no point in dragging it out. 
dragging out the long process of you moving out and us not living together anymore. To divide up, separate into smaller or more useful groups, distributing portions. Maybe we should start dividing up our stuff. To drag out, if you drag something out, you make it last for longer than is necessary. No point in dragging it out. It's a big change. The end of an era, you might say. <laughs> Are you okay? You're not blinking. To blink, to close and then open eyes quickly. Are you okay? You're not blinking. Fine, I just, I was thinking about how it's, it's an end of an era. Oh, all right. <laughs> but you know, I gotta say, I don't, I don't think six years counts as an era. An era is defined as a significant period of time. To define, to explain the meaning of a word, describe clearly and exactly what something is. Significant, having a special meaning or importance. An era is defined as a significant period of time. Now, if it was significant for me, maybe it wasn't significant to you. What is the matter with you? What is the matter with you? <laughs> Why are you more upset? I guess I'm not upset because I don't see you actually going through with it. I'm sorry. Phoebes, I have to ask you. Shh, I'm swamped right now. <laughs> You're just staring into space. Um, I'm trying to move that pencil. <laughs> this one? It worked! Swamped, idiom, to be extremely busy, overworked, to swamp, to fill something with water. Another example. Hey, hey Joe, you want to check out pictures of me and Mona ice skating? Oh, uh, yeah, ordinarily I would love to, but I am just swamped right now. <laughs> So, I understand you're looking for a place. No, no, I'm staying put. I was going to offer you my apartment. Why? Where are you going? Stay put, idiom, to not move or leave. Remain in same location or position. No, no, I'm staying put. You know when you move in, Rachel's room's gonna be empty. You wanna talk about what we wanna do with it? Sure. Okay. I was thinking we should have a beautiful guest room, right? With um, a mahogany sleigh bed and bedside tables with flowers on it all the time. And then we could have like a roll top desk with little comment cards so people can tell us how much they love staying here. Mahogany, hard reddish brown wood from a tropical tree used for high quality furniture. Sleigh bed, a bed with solid headboard and footboard. Often sleigh beds are made of wood. Roll top desk. A type of writing table which has a wooden cover which can be pulled down over the writing surface when the desk is not being used. What do you have against the beautiful guest room? Nothing. I don't have anything against the beautiful guest room, especially since everybody that we know lives about 30 seconds away. Are you mocking me? No, I'm not mocking you or your beautiful guest room. To mock. To laugh at someone, often by copying them in a funny but unkind way. Are you mocking me? Okay, I get it. So I get nothing. Nothing here is mine. Everything is yours. I'll get up in the morning, put on your clothes, and head off to work. To head off, informal. To leave a place, or depart for some destination. I'll get up in the morning, put on your clothes, and head off to work. It is not my fault that your chairs are incredibly ugly. All right, that's fine. That's fine. I won't bring over the chairs. I won't bring anything over. I wouldn't want to ruin the ambiance over here at Grandma's place. <laughs> To bring over, to take something along from one location to another. I won't bring over the chairs. Ambience. The mood or atmosphere of an environment. A feeling or mood associated with a particular place or person. I wouldn't want to ruin the ambiance over here at Grandma's place! You know those big, big uh, road signs that say, that say merge? Mm -hmm. So I was thinking that we could get one of those signs and hang it over our bed. <laughs> because that's you and I together. Merge. Oh my god, I love that. Really? Uh, uh, no. Maybe we should start dividing up our stuff. You're just gonna order me around all the time? It's right next to it. I'm staying put. Merge. Are you mocking me?